Okay, this is my father's 1903 Springfield, and it has a star-gauged barrel on it. It is not a star-gauged rifle. Uh, a star-gauged rifle would have a little bit of a different stock. He tells me it would have more of a sporter style stock on it where the hand grip came down a little bit lower. Uh, similar to what you would find on a uh, sporter stock on a rifle. After he bought this rifle, uh, he got home. One of his buddies came by and was inspecting it and looking it over. And all of a sudden, he looks at my father and goes, you don't know what you have here, do you? And my father's like, what do you mean? And uh, he introduced him to the star that's on the uh, bottom of the barrel in the front. There's a star there. And that means the barrel itself is a star-gauged barrel. So this is basically a military rifle stock, but it does have the star-gauged barrel on it. So my father looked into it and, and uh, found out what does a star-gauged barrel mean. And it has to do with the brooch. People call them button pulled right now, but it's a brooch. And the brooch, after they cut the, uh, the, the, the minimum bore size, you run the uh, brooch through there and that cuts the, the uh, groups. And when you have a brand new brooch, you run them through there. It's not a star gauge yet. They run so many through and then they uh, list it as a star gauge. And at that point on, Everyone that's a star gauge has to have the go gauge go all the way through the barrel and then the no go gauge has got to not start either on either end. It cannot even start slightly in the chamber end or in the end of the barrel. So as they're going along, they're checking them all and as soon as the uh, no go gauges just start to go a little bit, it's still a good barrel as far as the military is concerned, but it's no longer a star gauge barrel. Now, when I looked it up online, there's people out there that have their own idea of what a star gauge barrel is, but I'm gonna go with what my father's story is. And uh, if you disagree with me, well, feel free. But uh, that's the story that I was given. So my father bought this. He put a $20 peep sight on the front, $20 combination. Uh, the front sight here has got the hood around it. On the back here, on the butt, there's a door, and I'm assuming that's for a cleaning rod to be uh, inserted so the soldier can have a cleaning rod with his rifle. Now you come around here to open the bolt. There's this lever here, and it says on. If you flip it halfway down, you can now pull the bolt out. If you go down all the way, it says off. So with it in the off position, you go to open the bolt, you cannot pull the bolt back far enough to chamber around. If you look inside the follower right there, it's not all the way back on the follower. And if you have a round in there, it won't chamber. So let me flip this up all the way and then see it went back further. And now inside the follower, you got more room to get a hold of the next round to strip it off and go crazy. Now on here, this is the safety here. You flip it all the way to that side and you cannot open the bolt. You go halfway, it's still on safe. You cannot make the gun go off and you can still open the bolt. You flip it over all the way this way, and now you can make the gun go off. I like this in the fact that you have the big knob back here, so if something goes wrong, you can recock it again if you wanted to. Okay, coming over here, the GI sight should have been located right there. We'll start off with the soda bottle. Well, that was not exciting at all. Bowling pin. That was not exciting at all. Tin can. Well, at least it moved. Orange plastic target. And I did aim a little too low. Orange plastic target. 
There we go. Took off for running. Water bottle. Oh, it jumped, but that's about it. Dunk, 200 yards. 200 yards. Bunk. See if we can make one of those dead water bottles go for a fly. Oh, there you go. That went someplace. Let's go after the orange thing again. I think it moved. How about the other bowling pin? All it's going to do is roll over. About 380 yards. Boom! 380 yards. That was a 18 tall, 24 wide. By the way, 300. Let me go off to the 200. Boom! 200! 300. Boom! 300! This baby's a tutor! What can we make move here? Got a tin can right there. Well, it danced. goes left. I give it some right and it goes right. <laughs> Bong! Thousand yards! Two. All right, all over the target. One mile. left. Didn't see it. Well, last round. Probably in front of it. Not sure where it was. Uh, it's 1903 Springfield at one mile, 208 grain Hornady ELD bullets. I am confident I could hit that thing if I had a spotter.